Hello, uh, this is Armin Rao, and you know, I, I'm so excited about being uh, a mentor now at the retail uh, tech hub, uh, tech hub in, uh, in Munich here. Um, it's an initiative that was uh, founded um, a few years ago by um, um, big retail chains in Germany. They're supporting uh, startups and late stage startups. I'm, uh, I'm actually here today as a mentor and um, I just wanted to, sh to share a few uh, stories with you um, in, in, in a series of stories of the Retail Tech Hub uh, just uh, from the uh, very exciting talks that I had with the, the startup uh, founders. With the founders, some of them have to uh, become um, leaders now and that's why I'm sharing it with you. So, and even if you have not uh, been in the situation of leading some 20 people or 10 people, you might use this knowledge in the future. So the first one who came uh, to the session here, to the mentoring session, was a guy who uh, founded an AI company, Artificial Intelligence, and with their technology, they help retailers to do better planning. Planning in the retail sector is actually quite vague. It's difficult, you know, to, uh, do, to go for that planning and uh, to, uh, make it uh, precise. With the artificial intelligence techniques that this company is offering, they can actually improve the, the, the planning very much. And um, so um, the problems or those, the uh, challenges that he told me was the first one is he's in B2B, so, and he's got the classical B2B problems in sales. Uh, sales cycles too long and uh, hit rates are too low and uh, it's, 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 it's quite complicated. So that was one thing that um, he uh, talked to me about. And you know, here I always recommend a three-step process, or it's actually a three-pronged approach. The first uh, very important thing is that you qualify the opportunity very, very rigorously. So uh, you need to um, you know, go for some criteria uh, to understand if it is really an opportunity, if you got a chance to win, if you can compete, and if you actually want that opportunity, if you want that deal. So that's all about deal qualification. If you want to know more about deal qualification, just send me a WhatsApp. You've got uh, my number underneath this video. The other thing is that you have to, when you go um, for the offer, make it a value-based offer. That means if you can, for example, uh, save costs costs of say I don't know uh, 1 million you know you sh you know you should get you know you should get 20% uh, of that or 30% of that so don't make the pricing according to what you have as expenses but um, do a pricing that is orientated towards the value that you create. And number three is negotiation and closing. You actually need very very good negotiation techniques um, I've got a video on my channel about um, the 10 rules, or no, I think uh, three uh, important rules of negotiation. It's called Horses for Courses, so have a look at this one. Um, it can help you actually a lot. So uh, these were uh, the three learnings that I could share, or the three takeaways that I could give this first entrepreneur. Have a look at one of my next videos where I'm going to talk about the second entrepreneur that I talked to and uh, share some tips that I could give these people that you might also learn from. If you want to know more about um, leadership for entrepreneurs and how you can actually uh, sell more, sell more profitably and also get rid of all the overwhelm and manage better, click on the link below this video and uh, apply for a private session with me so that where I can help you for free to improve your business right now. That was Armin Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur and don't forget, lead yourself.